Thank you for joining us today at the LDRS Creative YouTube Tutorial Channel, where we hope to inspire. Good morning, this is Tammy Louise with LDRS Creative. Um, I'm going to make a project today with one of my favorite die sets that are offered at LDRS Creative. It's the Darling Square set. I'm using some Nina cardstock, um, 8.5 by 11, and I'm scoring it in half um, to create the scored section of the project. And this is what the die set looks like. I'm going to first cut um, out of some Copic Crygen paper the smaller of the squares and then I'm going to get my mini misty which is an awesome tool by the way if you haven't um, used that had the opportunity to use it I would suggest it uh, if you miss a little portion of the stamp the first time that you use your ink um, it allows you to re-ink it and put it exactly in the same position it started in originally at any rate um, the LDRS stamps have a cushion that sticks to the Mini Misty. And when you close it, you ink it up. I'm using Memento Black. And place the ink all over the stamp, even though there is a section of the stamp because it's a very uh, wide stamp. Um, the little boat at the end is not going to fit in this square. But um, I plan on piecing it onto the project after I finish coloring. So, like I said earlier, um, I had to re-ink a little portion of her dress because it didn't come out originally, and the Mini Misty allows you to do it in the same exact spot that you started in. So, it's a very nice tool. Um, like I said before, also, that little boat uh, doesn't stamp in the square itself, so I'm going to now um, use just an acrylic block and, and stamp the boat itself. The sentiment set that I'm going to put with the project is from the LDRS Creative um, Sentiments and the set is called You. I'll run it through my cuddle bug. Um, the Darling Square set has several different dies in it. One large die that's very decorated around the edges. I'm going to create the base of my um, card with that and then in order to score eight and a half by eleven and a half and still have an entire form of that large die I take um, some shiny paper and cut it once after I cut the scored card base like I'm showing you here I'm going to use a little washi tape put the scored line in Run it through the spell binders because the cuddle bug isn't large enough for this particular die. And there is a trick to um to this because the of the weight of the roller as it's running through, you want to always uh, rotate 90 degrees your larger die cuts so that the roller hits every section of the die when it cuts through. These are really good high quality dies too, so you won't have any issue with all of it punching out immediately. Um, as soon as you bring it out of the press. Okay, so I am running it through. And this, again, is the scored section. You'll see now as I pr pull it up away from the die how easily all the little holes just pop right out. This is the shiny paper that I'm going to use for the front. And all I want to do is cut one of these. Um, and then I also want to emboss it. And I believe um, I sped through the video because we all know how to run these machines um, and each one is a little bit different but this one is first cut and then I'm going to run it through again with the embossing pad after rotating it so that there's um, an embossing section and a cut section on this very pretty die um, and it makes it look very delicate and this is a shiny embossing paper um, you can see how much it glimmers and shines there this is some paper, a design paper from um, Michelle Roos Design, and um, I thought it was very faint looking and very pretty, and she does have some element packs that come with the paper, and it matches, um, like you can see in the picture here, um, the little bow up there on the front, and also she has a few tags. 
Um, so outside of having this die set um, and some papers that match, you're going to see that this is the only site that you need. Um, it has a sentiment holder. It has flourishes. It has larger flowers that you can place all over your project. Um, I do a trick here with the smaller square die and hand draw around the outside edge so that it's a little larger than the cut and then hand cut it. Now I do run some lace from, I believe it's May Arts, through the little holes, which is also another unique um, quality to this particular die set. It has cute little holes and I run those through and kind of keep it real loose and put a bow at the top. Okay, so I taped some lace um, from May Arts on the center section of the card and then um, pop dots for the sentiment. These are um, embellished brads run through. I double cut the large and small flowers that come in the set and laid them on top of each other and put the pearl um, facets through. This is the bow that you can create with the set that comes from MR Design. And, um, oh, I also used one of the little tags that comes with it and um, another one of the flowers that cuts from it just to add a decoration to the top of the tag. Um, I think it added a little bit more dimension to it. And then also she has tickets that are all coordinated in the stock of the color. And I put a little bit of Fancy Recollections gems on each of the flowers. I cut the vines four times, twice in white and twice in design paper so that I could put the little flowers on top of the white um, in the blue color. And that's all I did. This, this, this die set's amazing. It comes with everything that you need in order to make the entire project. I do move some of the little bows around as I'm creating. Sometimes you think it's going to look good in one place, and then you find later that it looks better in a different place. And again, I took the bow off on the left-hand side in order to place this little vine um, full of flowers over to the other side closer to her, and then I put the bow back on. The project is really super simple. It comes with one base. I scored 8.5 by 11 Nina stock in half um, so that it would remain attached on one section. I adhered the top layer to the scored section, ran some lace through, put the other um, pieces of the project together, and it's all set. I hope you enjoyed the project. If you have any questions, um, the, the information will be on my blog, and you can contact ldrscreative.com. Have a great day. We hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. For information on these and more products available at the LDRS Creative Store, visit us on Facebook and our website at www.ldrscreative.com.